going on people all right man today i'm gonna do an uh a video sort of based on a, a video that i haven't even released yet so uh, that should be interesting right but um the concept is clear enough that uh but I, and i'm gonna i'm gonna go over it again so today i'm talking about the uh 32 or 23 rule okay you got a two and a three you can either put the two first or the three first but it's a, a 23 32 rule and here it goes all right so i'm going to be in the key of c sharp today all right so here we go c sharp your one all right e flat is your two f is your three f sharp is your four all right uh, a flat is your five b flat is your six c is your seven and then you are back at your one or your eight all right and remember uh i just kind of like to point this out because of the program that your two can always all uh, your two is also your nine uh, if it's upper structure. All right, uh, your four is also your eleven, and your six is also your thirteen. All right, so when you're dealing with upper structures, okay. So when you see when you see nine, think two. When you see four, think you know eleven. When you see oh, I'm sorry. When you see eleven, think four. And when you see 13, think six. All right, so back to the law of three, two, or two, three, 23, 32. So for the beginners, upper beginners, all right, um, something that you can do is reharmonize, all right? So you have to, first of all, you have to know your scale. Um, best to know your scales in every key. Um, if you know your scale in every key, man, you're gonna be really good, all right? But uh, know your scale, okay? So, what I like to do is I'm, I'll start from a place and you can start backwards or forward. It's a beautiful thing. All right. I'm going to start from my C sharp and I'm going to skip three. So one, two, three, skip those three, skip these three, I'm gonna skip these two. All right. You notice I have a chord that we're all familiar with C sharp major. All right. Now I'm going to skip these three. Now I've got a C sharp major seven. What happens? I'm gonna skip these two. C sharp major nine. Notice I can. This can go on and on. Skip these three. Right. Skip these two. Right. Skip these three. I mean, if you notice, this can really go on and on and on and on and on. So. When you're sitting down and you're composing your music and you're practicing and you're thinking of different reharms, man, this is like really great. So when you have songs, some songs, chords just work in general, no matter what the melody is. And for those instances, I would go forward, right? So let's say I was going to the like six, right? And the song, right? And it goes to your six. All right. I may encourage you to do the six with the, the 23 rule. All right. So I'll skip two. All right. Skip three. Skip two. Skip three. Skip two. All right. Up until I feel comfortable. All right. So I'm gonna stop right there. See how that sounds? That sounds really good. All right. So I have. All right. Works out very well. Works out extremely well. You know. Um, let's try with the one. All right. six going to the four five let's do it with the one all right so I just skip three two three and two three two three two all right here's an advanced tip um 
you can use these as upper structures when you're doing rootless. So for those of you that like playing rootless, I love playing rootless, right? Um, let's say I'm going back to my, all right, let's say I'm going to the two. All right, going to the six, four, to the two, five, one. All right, so instead of going to the two, I can do my, do this little 23, 32 thing. All right, skip two. That was a little loud. All right. All right. So it's gotten to the point now, I'm running out of fingers here, right? I can use this instead of my two. All right. Let's say I'm up here. Four. All right. So. So what I did was. I used this as my two. All right. You know, and then you can do whatever your five is. Root is five. Root is five there. Okay. But the point is you find all these these beautiful upper structures out by uh doing your little So that's a wonderful thing. I know we got a little bit more advanced just then. Um, but we're about to get a lot more advanced. All right. Oops. We're about to get a lot more advanced. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that same system. All right. Let's say this is the chord I chose for my one. All right. We all understand how I got here. All right. Now. And I encourage you, if you don't understand this, just start off from the beginning and come back, watch this video. Watch it as many times as you need to until you get it. Like, don't give up because this is good stuff here. All right. So I have this here. All right. It should be like major nine. Yeah. So I'm going to make a chord off of each. Make a chord off of each note. All right. So instead of going to the, to this chord here. I'm gonna make a chord off each note. All right, so it'll be. Instead of going on. Some different chords there. So you got. Right. Um, you can also alternate how you do it. Really good stuff. And you can keep that going. Really good stuff. All based off of all based off this 3223 system. Really great stuff here that you can work with. It gives you a lot to freestyle with. You can do it in order. You can do it out of order. Great stuff. And 
it's all based off of the upper structures that you would use all right really great stuff um now let me talk about using it backwards okay so this is the same beginner's technique but more for the advanced people right here right so let's say you have a song that goes melody is there So you want to keep that, you kind of want to keep that on the top, right? So you can end the song. I would start off backwards, right? I say I'll take this here. I know I'm gonna end with this, and I go three, two, three. So this is kind of what I have. So I say, okay, let's check that out. So I'm here, All right? out very well and, and as we know three two three two three we can go back with this as far as we need to All right oh what was that we can go back as far as we need to As you can see, is a great reharm tool, right? You know, sometimes, you know, people. I, well, how about this? Let's try it with uh, the minor. Let's see. All right. So you can already see how that goes. concept you know about the plan of chord for each note really great stuff stuff that's once you see it once you see it it's easy to visualize but you know if you're not understanding this video let me let me tell you it starts it starts here it starts here That's where it starts and until you get that then you are going to sort of be limited to only doing it about you know three to four to five times you're not going to you're not going to be able to just go across the whole keyboard and you know 23 32 all across the whole keyboard up until you can really visualize it and see okay what scale am i in now okay what scale am i in now what scale am i in now because you notice um, I didn't really mean to branch out into all this, but you notice that when we did this, you go from like when when I played this, and then when we when we did this chord right here, right? When we, when we did this chord or a variation of it, you know, we really switched to a D scale, and by looking at it, I can tell that. And this chord is just a, it was a G major nine, but it's not a G, you're not in the scale of G because you have these two flats or two sharps. You and D, and you need to know that because most likely you're going to want to use D chords. to use chords from that that scale that you're in now there are cheat codes around it and like uh, a real jazzy sound you can do is just use the same chord so we, we were just doing if I had this chord right keeping it simple 
I could do major seven here, major seven here, major seven here, and then back home. So if I'm two, five, one, ready, two, five, major, major. All right. But you can do it the dominant way. Really just extending it all across the piano, you know. Um, there are other ways you can do it. Um, there are other variations of this rule, but it's a very solid rule. If you have time and you're and you're playing uh, a gig and, you, and you're the type of person that can visualize while you're playing, it's, it's a really good improvisation tool. Um, like I said, it really helps you with some upper structures. And I'll do another video elaborating on this. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about this, man, y'all know how to get in contact with me. But um, you know, hope this is something that you can use. I know it is, you know, just put your mind to it and teach this to somebody else. All right, peace.